Ladies and gentlemen, I've been very behind. I'm so sorry. At least I was able to upload ROR. I mean, <laughs> let's just get on with it. So, if anyone guessed it, which I'm pretty sure they didn't, it was the Red Max D. Ahoy. So let's take a let's take a look at it. It's basically your regular well it's not your regular Max D, but whatever. <laughs> Let me try. Turn on the flashlight because I mean it's daytime right now, it's like twelve, whatever, but I really want to get that Maxi logo, but it's that blurry. Like, I kid you not. Um, the size the exact same. I really like how they did this. So, if you, for some reason, can't remember, I'm pretty sure a lot of people remember, the Max D truck was chrome. Now, I'm not sure if they did this on purpose. But the way they had the spikes, they had it to where it looks like, you know, like it's shiny right here in the watch. So, chrome. I don't know. One of my picks, though. Here's the next truck. Now, I'm pretty sure this is in the last one, but I just can't exclude it. It's such a great looking truck. Now, hope, now it got the updated logo, so I hope they put that in the new truck. Fox Sports 1 Cletus. Oh, yeah. One of my f personal favorite trucks. Um, so I was at Monster Jam in December when Doomsday was revealed. I did record, but I don't even know if I'm going to upload it. It was just such a bad show, in my opinion. It was so boring. I couldn't even take it. Hopefully, we go to the February 4th, but most likely it's going to be a no. Which sucks, because I would love to get... I did get autographs. But yeah, let's just get on to the next one. And the reason why I'm not reviewing... Fox Sports 1, I mean, I've reviewed it like two times already, and you already know what it looks like in, well, I, yep, Medusa. This was such a special truck for me to get, mainly because it was a special edition. Well, not anymore, but I'm so excited for the new one. Oh my gosh, I saw pictures and I was dead. Um, NEA, I'm really excited about. I really want to get the green Bad News Travels Fast. I just love the purple one really jumped to me, so I'm hoping the green one won't, but it's freaking mud treads, which sucks. Um, what else? Oh, the orange grave deer. That, I'm so hyped. But, pink Medusa. Great looking truck, I mean, it's basically, I mean, it's the same Medusa truck, it's just on the new tool. And I have the first, like, new look, so, I don't know if that's lucky for me, but whatever. On to the next truck. I didn't even pause it because I don't feel like it. This is a truck that I got quite a while ago. Got it in the beginning of the year, I think. Did it come with Battle Stars? No, it didn't come with Battle Stars. One of my personal favorites. I totally forgot about this truck. I don't know how. Oh, yeah. I think this truck honestly has way better graphics. I don't know if it's just because of how, how the design is. Let's look at it. I mean, look at that. They really, hopefully, do fix their graphics. Mystic on the sign. If it won't let me freaking focus, this phone is... This isn't even my actual phone. Um, I just love this silvery, grayish look. It just looks flat out amazing. Number five on the list. So, 
who is number six? Number six is a little bit different approach on this. The reason why I have a different approach is because not very many people, I did, at the time that this was made, no one was really expecting anything anymore. They were just expecting the same old El Toro local. But they finally decided, wait a minute, since when was it red? I don't, I don't know if it's going to let me. Yep, there's the Red El Toro logo. <laughs> oh snap, I almost stopped the recording. I would have raged. This is such a great looking orange too. They, it's, now it looks darker on camera. Well, let me see if I turn off the light. I don't know if I put it. Do you guys remember when I did the review in here? Christmas is tomorrow, guys. So you never know. Wow. Beautiful. Sorry about background noise. The next truck, yet again. I'm going to turn back on the flashlight. I think it shows the truck just a little bit better. Yeah, it has a little bit of a glare, but whatever. Next truck is driven by yours truly, Brie Mahone. Great driver, in my opinion, for the level that she's at. I love this Medusa. I got this at Monster Jam this February. Yeah. When it came with the battle sling. Just looks so good. I don't understand. I never got the original white, and so I was really excited when I saw this out. When I saw it, oh man, I got so hyped. So, number eight is actually a very special truck that none of you probably don't even know that I got. Boom. Now, I'm going to tell you about a little bit of the story. I love the red, by the way. So, when I got this truck, I was so excited. Yeah, I can't wait to open it. You know, it's going to look so good. Got it out of the package. <laughs> I'm hesitating because it's irritating me so much. that turns and at the time this they were so <sighs> Mattel has been irritating me so much lately I feel like my luck is just trash lately I've been getting trucks to where they the, they're either locked on too tight to where you can't even turn them this is the this was the worst they didn't even move it was like this I had to literally, I spent like three, I probably spent a good one to three, two to three hours fixing this. And thank goodness I fixed it. It runs beautifully. We had, what I did is the TWP twist, no, TBW, twist bend pull. You twist the tire backwards about fifth, for about 15 seconds. You bend it and you're not done bending and you pull it. The problem was, is that these wheels, I don't know what it is about the chrome, they're like more metalish or something, it bends, so we, me and my dad, uh, we got pliers, we, it was just awful, ugh. So yeah, number eight, we'll take a review. I haven't, I haven't reviewed like the last two trucks, cause the new Monster Jam logo, I love it, doesn't have BKT. Great looking truck, really, though. I want to get the... Now, the new Zombie Hunter that came out, I'm actually excited for that because it's got the uh, the numbers and the letters, whatever, the ZH1, whatever. I don't know. Just your average, but this is just your average Soldier Fortune, just updated. She's got different graphics, really. So, number nine on the list. Well, if the video would like to pause. Alright, so I'm going to have to go a little bit quick. I'm starting to run out of time. This next truck is one that I got at Monster Jam in this December. It's my newest truck, I think. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I lied. 
Ooh, I finally was able to grab the Zamac Digger. I was so excited. And I, the more I look at it, the more I love it. Just your average digger. So. Yeah. And number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten on the list. I think people know. Nobody knows about this. And I've had this for quite a long time. I've seen this truck in quite a few videos. And the more I saw it, the more I fell in love. 2005 Metal Base. Oh. Huh. This truck is so freaking cool. I don't know why. It just stands out. It, it's such a beautiful looking truck. So, shocker. I don't know why. It just looks so good. I'm, I mean, the reviews are kind of sucky. Don't. I know I'm going to get dislikes on this. But I have to hurry. Number 11 on the list is a truck that I mentioned just a little bit ago. In this, I said I'm excited for it. Well, most people aren't. Zombie Hunter. And I'm going to maybe do Sign Up Series Christmas Special tomorrow. I'm not sure. It'd be really cool. And a lot of people said about the Monster Jam logo. That it's reflective. And I think they're right. Oh, it is. That's so cool. It's kind of like the Destroyer. Here we go, number 12. I got this truck because both of my Team Hot Wheels were, well, there you go. It's Team Hot Wheels Firestorm Mud Treads. I got this one basically because it, eh, you know, because my other two are broke. So, yeah. Unlucky number 13, Devastator. Wow. This was a weird truck that I found, too. I wasn't expecting to get it. I wanted it, but I was afraid I was never going to find it. Well, I found it. I think I feel like I reviewed this. I probably did. Yeah, I did. 14 is my favorite World Finals Edition. So far. I'm not excited for the next one. That's the truth. So, yeah. Number 15 is... Ba -da 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 -da. I don't even think people know that I got this. It's Titan. This is such a cool truck. I love it. Oh, my goodness. I got this with a lot of my birthday money. Such a beautiful truck. Average Titan. I love the sculpting for it. How it's just a special own sculpt. So... What is it? Number 16, I think it is. This was number 25 on the list last year. I feel like I really crudded out the one that was a huge job. Big Coon. That's right. And I reviewed this, so it may be very vague. Boom. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for not reviewing, but whatever. Mohawk Warrior is number 17. Number 17, beautiful Mohawk Warrior, just your average Mo. Number 18 is a very special truck for me. The way I found this was so weird. I found this at TJ Maxx. It's a great looking truck, too. I want them to come out with the yellow, like the black, and then the yellow. Number 19 is already in the list, but it's a different color. Max D. You already gone through this. It's just your average Max D. Not, well, I mean, not average, but you know. Yeah. Number 20. It's probably my personal favorite digger. Just looks so good. I'm very upset about the purple. It's not. It's not the new tool. Rage. 21 is a very special truck again. Oh, you know. You know, baby. I reviewed this, so don't have to review it. 22 is the Destroyer. And the back is so reflective. I love that. Really solid looking truck. Boom. Number 23, as of right now, is my, fav is my second favorite truck.
and I already read this. It's got the BKT. Pause. Last one of the day, it is, I guess, the same truck, but not really. Soldier Fortune, my, one of my top fives. Solid looking truck. I was so hyped when I saw this.